Hi guys, welcome back to Twin Flame Farm. I'm Libby and today we are seed starting. It's happening. It's happening. So I have my seeds. I just grabbed a table from um, the garage outside, brought it in here. We are in my creepy farmhouse basement. Welcome. It doesn't get any creepier than this and it is a disaster right now. Um, I had this all organized as much as I could, but um, Brandon wanted to do some patchwork on some of the mortar. So everything got jumbled around. Um, he was doing it in preparations for seed starting because he knew I wanted to do it down here, but we didn't get it done in time. So now here I am having a great time in this disaster. Anyways, I have my seeds here in this little brown baggie is more seeds. Um, we stopped at Jung's this last weekend and picked up a couple extra things that I needed. Um, Brandon is going to be growing sweet corn and pumpkins at his co-worker's house this year and try to sell some pumpkins. So he got um, some sweet corn. Then I got rutabagas more herbs, thyme, Greek oregano, peppermint. I got Chinese cabbage, cauliflower, Aunt Molly's ground cherries. I've been dying to get these and I finally got them. So I'm excited for those. Carrots, um, the dragon carrots, Patterson onions, and spinach. So that kind of rounds me off for what I needed this year. So today I'm starting all of my cool weather crops or stuff that needs a little bit more time to germinate. So all of my tomatoes, all of my peppers, I'm going to start onions, my brassicas, I don't know if I said that, and my herbs as well. And then when I was there, they threw in these trial packets. So they gave me a tomato an Amish gold slicer tomato, and I got a pack of candy stripe Cosmos. I'm, I'm excited about both, to be honest. Here's what I got going here. I got two new cell trays. These are some older cell trays that I had from last year. I have all of my seeds that I'm planting laid out, and then I have some popsicle sticks to label. I just get these from the dollar store. When I start my seeds, I get organic um, potting soil. I don't get seed starting mix because I like mine to have a little bit of nutrients in there for after the seedling sprouts for it to have a little bit of nutrients to grow. Just added some water to this. I'm going to blend it in. Can you imagine if this would just fall off this table? I shouldn't even say that out loud because that could be foreshadowing for me. There it goes down the front of my pants already. If you're watching this, thanks for just hanging out with me and planting stuff. Because that's really all I want in life is friends that want to plant and garden with me and do fun things. bit more of this because it's slightly too wet and still while I'm going through this I'm kind of just crumbling it through my hands kind of sifting it making sure it's not too too clumpy no, I don't know if anybody else is like this, but if I think about something for too long, I'll just overthink about it and instead of doing it. So it almost causes me to procrastinate a little bit. So I just need to like jump in and do this. So since we're in my creepy farmhouse basement, I want to know if any of y'all have a creepy farmhouse basement story. We've always lived in creepy farm. Well, like had creepy farmhouse basements. 
This one I think might take the cake though for all the houses I've lived in. So if when you come down here, there's a door and it looks like one of the original doors from the house. It's got like the lovely glass um, doorknob on it, which I love those. Um, but you open that door and it goes into a crawl space that's under our house. If that doesn't give you the spooks, I don't know what does. It's definitely a little, a little scary down here sometimes. But if you guys have a funny farmhouse basement story, please share it. Because when I was a kid, my sisters used to lock the basement door on me and they would say that Abi yo, yo was coming to get me, which is like, I'm pretty sure Abi yo, yo is in a folklore story. And they would sing, Abi yo, yo, Abi yo, yo. And I would freak out and that would scare the living daylights out of me. So that's what they would threaten me with if we were home alone and I was being naughty. But I would love to know if you've had a creepy farmhouse, what it looked like, if you found anything cool in your farmhouse basements. Um, I mean, we really haven't yet. The only scary thing here is the structure. <laughs> Anyways. Starting with tomatoes, we're gonna do Roma. And I think I'm gonna do one, two, three, four, five, six. Six of each. I'm gonna drop two in each cell. Done. So now I'm gonna label this row and I'm just gonna write on here watermelon beefsteak, am I gardener? Brandon's been making a lot of BLTs lately and his BLTs are, God, they are just so good when he makes them. So those were the Mountain Fresh Plus. This one again was something that I grew last year. These were um, the Speckled Romans and I really, really like those a lot. They actually were my best producing canning tomato last year. And lastly, we're gonna do this Amish Gold Slicer. got all of these all of these done we have the Roma we have our watermelon beef steak we have a mountain fresh we have a speckled Roman a San Morzano and an Amish gold um the couple I still need to plant are my super sweet 100 100s and my Wisconsin 55 so I'm going to do that in these next two rows and Next things on the docket are my Molly's ground cherries, a green tomatillo, and a pineapple tomatillo. So we're going to get these in here. Oh, 
now this tray is pretty much done. I have tomatoes in here, tomatillos, and my ground cherries. I have three rows left um, with six in each of them. I think I'm just going to leave them for now and start on my pepper tray and then fill in if I have extra peppers that don't fit. I'll put them, I'll put them in there. Um, I am running out of labels, so I need to figure that part out too. Whoopsies. I thought I had enough labels. Anyways, let's keep going. All right, we're starting with some habanadas. I ran out of um, popsicle sticks, which I thought I had plenty of, and I'm just marking them with a paint marker. That's not ideal, but that's what we're going with. got this whole tray done. I have some Tabasco, jalapeno, serranos, sweet banana peppers. I did um, ghost peppers in here, habanadas in these three, habaneros in these, red flames, another row of red flame, Olympus bell peppers, sunrise bell peppers, and pepperoncinis at the top. I think I'm going to go ahead and plant a few row, more rows of bell peppers in my first tomato tray up here and fill those last three rows out with some bell peppers. So now I got all of the peppers done and all the tomatoes done. I'm going to move along and start doing asparagus and lettuce and all that jazz. So what I decided to do for the asparagus and a couple of these odds and end things is I saved these um, plastic like fruit containers that my strawberries and raspberries came in because I kind of feel bad about throwing this out like they're good containers for like when you need to harvest stuff um, and they work great for planting it kind of turns into a mini greenhouse so that's what I'm going to do for the asparagus so I'm just gonna fill these up and the variety of asparagus that I got is Mary Washington. Don't know where I'm gonna plant these asparagus yet, but regardless, I'm very excited. I feel like that's probably good. These seeds are quite big. I'm actually just gonna show you up close here. So as you can see, these seeds are really large. I really wasn't expecting them to be that big, but these are little asparagus seeds. I'm just gonna kind of make little rows in here. I really hope these work. I hope these take off really well. I love asparagus. I could eat asparagus every single day. Make sure they got good contact. Oh, 
probably should have counted when I put those in there, but I didn't. So I'm going to write. on here and I'm gonna give these a little bit of a water in this is not ideal because when you when you water like this it kind of floods your seeds a little bit a hot mess over here this tray here and I really probably should have planted my tomatoes and bell peppers in this one however the stuff that I'm going to be planting in here this is all going to get up potted or moved out to the garden faster so this is going to be a lot of my brassicas and such. Alrighty, so I got all of my little cups filled up. Next, I'm gonna start planting um, some Chinese cabbage, a snow crown cauliflower, broccoli, and my Brussels sprouts. Um, and then if I have any leftover cells, I think I'm going to pop in some lettuce and then I'll probably call it good for today. <laughs> Nextly, I'm going to do some celery in these. These celery seeds are super, super, super tiny. Okay, so I think I am done with my seeds for today. I got three trays done. I'm gonna go grab my grow light and get these puppies under some light and get these babies cooking, get them growing. Struggling, just struggling constantly. Didn't think this through. This thing is just so bulky. Let's get this big honking thing up here. So this is my grow light. I think I have a bulb that's burnt out in it, but that is fine. I will just add another one. So fun fact, this is actually my mom's. She had this years ago when we had a garden at our house and it was just sitting in her garage. So when I decided back in 2020 that I wanted to start gardening, I took it from her house. So here it is. Now I have it. It is very dirty. I'm just gonna quick give it a wipe down. Thank you guys for hanging out with me today. We've got all these seeds started. 
I'm very excited for this growing season and we've just begun. So stick around for more seed starting content because I still have herbs and um, the lettuce remaining that I need to get planted. Thanks for watching guys and have a great rest of your week. See you in the next one.